Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share about my MVs. I'll start off with my first step cleansers. Usually these are like balms or oils that I use to, to remove sunscreen or any makeup that's on my face. So uh, the first thing that I finished was this. This is the Bobbi Brown Soothing Cleansing Oil. So uh, this is like a very lightweight oil. You definitely love this if you don't like the heaviness that any cleansing balms gives you. So this melts off your makeup easily. It doesn't get stuck to your lashes or whatever. And it's very comfortable to use. And I'll definitely purchase this whenever there's a sale going on because uh, it's too pricey if I were to buy it in the full price. And then next up is this. This is the Eve Lom Gel Balm Cleanser. So this one is like a hybrid between their old, uh, not old, but like their original uh, balm form cleansers. But it comes with a pump, so it's very easy to use. I'm going to show you the texture. So it's it's like moussey, but like lightweight, lighter weight. Uh, balm that's very easy to spread on and uh, it cleans really well but then sometimes it blurs my eyes a little so I don't really enjoy using this but uh, it's definitely something that I wouldn't mind using but I will not repurchase. Next up is this uh, old cleansing balm from, from the Inky List. So uh, one thing good about this is that it's very cheap but then uh, I don't find myself reaching out to this very often because it's not that easy to use. Um, the balm itself comes in like it's similar to the Eve Balms, but it's a little bit harder. Like it's not as as movable. I, I don't know if I can demonstrate. So this is the texture of it. Uh, so it's like the harder balm. It's not as as melty, and um, it's definitely uh, something that I don't mind using. But like I don't reach out to it very often because it's it doesn't glide on as smooth as smoothly as I want it to. So yeah, I don't think I will repurchase this, but if it's there, I don't mind using it. And next up is this Pharmacy Green Clean. Uh, this is the lemon scented one. So it's just like the old Pharmacy uh, regular, regular one, but it's just like a different scent. Uh, I definitely like this. I actually have more of this and I'll, I'll continue using them. And next up is this uh, Wishful Clean Genie. So uh, I actually I actually like this a lot. Like this has like, if you have used pharmacy before, you know that their textures are a little bit hard. Like when you scoop it up, it's it's like a sorbet, but it's it doesn't melt. Like it's like a harder sorbet, and this one is like a like a mashier potato. Like it's like a softer sorbet, so it's easier to scoop around and it melts into like an, an oil very easily. Uh, I, I actually enjoy using this, I don't mind getting it again. And it has like green tea extract and like other good ingredients as well. So probably something that you can consider if you are tired of using the same cleansing balms again and again. The Belief Aqua Bomb Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. This felt like a pharmacy cleansing balm, but it's like a blue tint weird right like besides it having a different color this felt very similar to the pharmacy one um, so I wouldn't mind using this again but yeah I got it as part of a set that I bought up next are like cleansers like the second step cleansers that I use uh, first off is this salicylic gel cleanser from image skincare so I initially bought this because uh, I I like having using a salicylic acid or benzoic peroxide uh, face, face wash because I have very acne prone skin. Uh, I think overall this does help in like controlling my acne but is this like the only product that helps? I don't think so. I think any product with salicylic acid would probably do the same for my skin. So uh, it's useful but it's not something that I'll think of immediately if I wanted to get like a face wash. And then up next is, it's, is this salicylic acid cleanser from the Inculus. So this is like, it, it felt, so in comparison to this one, I, I like this one more than this even though they are both salicylic acid cleansers. Uh, this has 2% but I, I'm not sure how much does this contain, like the salicylic acid 
percentage but uh, I felt like this one has a more enjoyable experience and it does have like a medical like medical smell to it so like I sort of have uh, a better association that it's working well I don't know whether it's me or what so uh, I prefer this more than this but this is also a good one like if you're looking for like a salicylic acid cleanser uh, because it it does help to like clean your skin and you don't feel very dry afterwards so another one that I finished is this Alamis Superfood Facial Wash uh, I think I use this up when I travel here and there uh, it's a very good gel cleanser it's lightweight it, it cleanses pretty well um, but it's just that there's no like actual actives in it so it's very gentle so, and up next is this matcha ham hydrating cleanser from Crave Beauty so um, this is like the rave product uh, I, I understand why so many people like this because it's very lightweight it goes on your skin easily and it it even removes like sunscreen or like like light makeup if you have them on so uh, I think that's why a lot of people like this uh, I don't mind this uh, but it's just like it's simple uh, I like that it's simple but like it's not my first choice because I have acne prone skin so this will be like my daytime cleanser if anything instead of like my nighttime for me to strip everything off but this is like a good daytime cleanser to me and another one in the cleansing department is this um, Tatcha Rice Polish Classic so uh, this is like my physical exfoliant if I feel like I needed a little bit more like scrubbing action here. So um, of course we all know that we're not supposed to like treat your skin harshly but this is like a very good way for you to have the feeling that you're cleansing your skin without it being too harsh because the rice powder actually melts really easily and uh, it's very nice to use and besides like physical exfoliant I think it actually has like chemical exfoliant in it as well so it, it brightens up your skin even more up next are serums uh, so the first one is this Shiseido Alt Altimune Power Infusing Concentrate uh, I, I like this a lot because it comes in a pound firstly and then it's very lightweight so uh, and it felt like it absorbs really quickly into your skin sorry for that um, so so I, I, I kind of enjoy using this and um, I don't mind getting it again if it's on sale next time because I find that it's a little bit pricey when it's like deep, when it's not on sale so um, based on that price itself I would not buy it but if it's on sale I don't mind getting it because this does not break my skin out it felt good and like it's very lightweight I'll definitely use it when it's the weather is hotter we don't want something heavy and then uh, up next are this these are like my favorite all time favorite uh, Estee Lauder's uh, Advanced Night Repair um, these are like the best serums ever like they they are hydrating enough and they give your skin like a very subtle and smooth feeling afterwards even after a day so uh, I enjoy using them a lot but I just don't like the droplet it's kind of annoying and then up next are this uh, these are the Great Barrier Relief Serum from Craig Beauty so this serum is a little bit like a moisturizer so it's like it has like a yeah there's nothing left here but it has like a moisturizer consistency if you have not used this so uh, this is uh, my favorite serum to use when I want to like um, use a reusable mask so I just apply this all over my face and just uh, use a re reusable mask over it so, and I'll insert like a photo somewhere here to show you what, what I'm talking about like the reusable mask like it's from a brand called Experiment it's like it's just a silicone thing where you put it onto your face and it replaces like um, the regular face mask which I find that I use a lot of them and like I don't want to waste money on like uh, things that that's one time now that they upgraded their model I like them even more because uh, you 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 be able to use up every bit of it instead of trying to dig out like the product so the next up is this uh, barrier serum from even prime so i bought this because um james welsh if you don't know he's like a skincare youtuber so he posted about this like going out of sale on his instagram and like he went and bought like a couple of them because uh, they are growing out of sale you know like they're discontinuing this whole product so i bought them because uh, out of curiosity and like um, I don't think I, I enjoy it as much as I 
I, I imagine myself to be because uh, this one uh, is a little like watery so I like serums that has a little body in it or like this one felt like it's, it's just gliding on your face instead of absorbing into it uh, I don't mind using it like it's hydrating but it's just not the first serum that I usually reach out to so this is the Barbora Active Purifier so this is like an Ampere. Ampere is like a more concentrated serum if you would wish so this comes in like little glass bottles that you have to break it off it's very concentrated right so it, it felt like a little tingly on my skin but it's not like the bad kind of tingling um, I finished using it uh, I think you have to use it consistently for you to able to directly see the results uh, I did not consistently use it but it's good for like last minute skincare if I know that I'm going to go somewhere like that I have to dress out or whatever uh, I'll just use this like continuously for like two nights it, like to heal does it make sense like it, it it does help in like clearing up my skin like purifying it but it's not something that I reach out for very often because it, it's expensive I'm not sure if you call this serum but like this is the CE Ferrolic that I finished uh, this is from Cynicals so um, I'm not sure if you heard of it but it's encouraged to use vitamin C every day if you want to brighten your skin and I find that the antioxidant properties of this one it's like it's it's just more obvious in other way in this than other vitamin C's that I've tried so um, I'm not surprised like this is like the OG product because uh, it does give you the effect of skin brightening and it, it also has a very nice texture but uh, one thing bad about this is that it oxidizes really quickly so you you're gonna try to have to use this every day in order to finish it within like one or two months next vitamin C that I finished was this from Dear Claire's the freshly juiced, freshly juiced vitamin, vitamin drops so um, this one is a little bit special because this the vitamin C in this comes in like a different formula like this is transparent instead of like the orangey tint that we are used to uh, one thing I don't like about this is that it's very oily like every time I use this I felt like I'm suffocating my skin but it, it doesn't actually suffocate my skin like my skin doesn't break out because of this but it's just the feeling that, that I'm not quite enjoying it so I don't think I'll repurchase this next is this Phyto Corrective Gel so this is from Skin SkinCeuticals as well I, I bought it because I have a lot of marks on my face that I wanted to try to clear it out uh, I, I enjoy this a lot like it gives me a peace of mind knowing that you know my marks will eventually fade off even though I don't know if they are fading off um, but it, it just helps to calm and smooth your skin like like all my acne is like, bursting and they're trying to like fight for their place and this one helps to calm them down and, and it's, it has a very enjoyable scent to it as well so um, I actually repurchased this and I'm already using another bottle of it. I'll definitely continue buying this. Yes. So this is from Image Skincare. Uh, this is their uh, clear, clear Cell Medicated Acne Lotion. So this is just benzoyl peroxide at 5%. Uh, I use this as a spot treatment. Uh, well, it does its job, but I don't find it super useful. Like, I don't know, some benzoyl peroxides are just formulated slightly differently I guess like this works but it's not just super enjoyable but I still use it because I know my skin needs it so yeah uh, and then next is um, Adapalene so this is another tube that I finished I mentioned it in my previous empties video like how I use this and right now because I was prescribed tretinoin so I stopped using like Adapalene they even have like a pump bottle one which is so much better than the tube form but uh, if you are looking to try to control your acne um, and you, you don't like like you wanted to try something over the counter before going to the doctors uh, I wouldn't judge because that's what, that was me bef before this so I would definitely recommend trying this but, but please do your research before you try this out because it might break you out even more if you are not careful in using this so yeah oh uh, this one, this is the Erno Last Last Slow Hydrotherapy Boost Serum. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so this one is something that I bought because I bought their mask and it comes in a set and whatever. Uh, so this is like a very hydrating serum. <laughs> That's about it because it's such a small bottle. I don't really feel like much impact of it. But um, I think I enjoy using this because it has a gel-like consistency, which 
it's a little bit different from all the hydro hydrating like serums this actually feels like more occlusive like more like juicy if that makes sense and then um, moisturizers i'll start off with this this is a this is from skinny this is their aloe vera ginseng extract Ta -da 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 -da. Oh, moisturizer okay so this is like this has like yeah i finished everything but uh this is this has like a gel like texture which i really enjoy when it's hot uh, because you don't feel like your skin is so heavy and then uh i think the ingredients this are uh, quite nice uh, it's just very difficult for me to buy them because i have to buy a lot in order to get like in order for me to feel better about like paying the shipping so um i'll i'll definitely try to get this like try to get more of this if i'll get to go to hong kong or, or if they start to like if they decided that they want to sell in in the states but otherwise uh, it's just not 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 that accessible for me and uh yeah but the next is this uh protini polypeptide cream so i have to look them here so um yeah so this is a super good moisturizer so the first time that I used this, like I shared in my previous empties video, I thought that it's just like, you know, it's just something that's not bad that I can continue using. But after using that, I actually wanted to go back to it. I, for some reason, it's just it moisturizes my skin really well, but it doesn't feel heavy at all. But your skin feels very hydrating and very moisturizing afterwards. So and it has like peptides in it, which apparently they are very good in like retaining moisture. This is definitely something that I'll, I'll repurchase. And I hope that they go on sale soon because uh, I really enjoy using them. And the texture is like, it's just a, like a slightly, it's like a very light cream. So it feels so good on your skin, but it's not a water cream, you know, it, it still has some body to it. So uh, definitely something that I'll repurchase. By Wish Trend Pro Biome Balance Cream. So uh, I think I like this. I don't remember it being super good, but it's not bad, definitely. Uh, because if it's bad, I'll definitely not finish it. Uh, it's just a very lightweight cream, as usual. Uh, doesn't have a strong scent to it, and it, it feels really nice on the skin. Like, like really, really nice on the skin. Like it's like at this price point, I feel like it's so worth it. Uh, uh, I might consider buying this again. I'm not too sure, but yeah. Up next is this also oh simple water cream. So this is from Pretty Beauty. Um, I actually like this quite a bit because it's uh, very lightweight and it's like a water cream texture. So uh, and the, the ingredients list are so simple. It's like less than ten ingredients. So you def you you definitely know what you're putting on your skin and you don't have to worry about it breaking out or like making your skin uncomfortable. So uh, definitely something I'll I'll consider repurchasing if I'm looking for like a moisturizer. Up next, uh, this is from Augustinus Bader. I have the Rich Cream. And the cream. Oh, well, these are super good because they have like a vitamin A in it. So this is how it's supposed to be. But I took it off and I like, squeeze everything out of it because they are so expensive. Uh, I actually like I actually like both of them. I think because even though my skin is like oily here on the T zone, like super oily on the nose and, and forehead, but this doesn't feel like heavy on the skin. Like it it just it glides on so easily and it absorbs into your skin really well and I think I can see the effect of it the next day even after a, a, a day so it's like it, it brightens up your skin your skin still feels like you know some moisturizers after a night they just they are just not there anymore like and your skin starts like especially for me I start to have like dry patches around my, my mouth and around my nose usually if the moisturizer is not moisturizing enough or if I don't use a face oil but this one does not need any of those and like um, I understand why they are pricey I, I think there's like a name it's like the TFCA like it's like their proprietary ingredient that contains I think I think retinoid as well so that's which is why your skin feels more plump and it's more hydrating and up next are just like small tubs of moisturizers that I finished using or I did not actually finish using so this is the youth to the people Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream I, I don't think I enjoy this because I could never finish using this and the texture is a bit hard I like stuff that's very very easy to glide on and smooth but this one is just it doesn't feel that it, it doesn't feel as right for me somehow 
and then it's this uh, Estee Lauder tripeptide face and neck cream with SPF uh, I think I use this in a day exclusively uh, nothing much to complain about it's like it has a very slight scent to it which I, I don't mind using at all and during the day and uh, it, it feels okay I guess but it's just like a small top I don't I don't have much to comment on it same for this but I remember liking this one more than this or the other way around I think it's this one this one is slightly better than this one so this is like a lighter this is lighter than that um, I guess I use it as a day cream because it has SPF like if I don't go out like in the day I don't mind using it but if I were to go out I'll definitely apply more sunscreen and this too this is so all out of all of this day cream I think I like this the most. So this is the Alamis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Uh, it says anti-wrinkle. I don't know if it's really anti-wrinkle, but it helps with like, it's like, it has a nicer scent than both of them. And it's like a lighter texture. So this is more like a water cream, which I enjoy a lot in the day, especially. And then up next, uh, I'm not sure if this is considered like a moisturizer, but this is the Bobbi Brown vitamin and rich face base I, I use it like sometimes as a moisturizer but most of the time I use it as a primer because um, even though I'm, I'm like a, an oily skin but I have like dry patches here and there I even bought like the full size uh, and rich face base because I, I enjoy this I enjoy it a lot it helps with the dry patches on my skin your skin feels so much plump afterwards and it's easier to put on foundation and next is this uh, La Roche Posay Sika Plus B5 I actually don't like this as much as I thought I would. Uh, so it has B5, which is, it has pentanol, whatever, antibacterial, soothing, repairing balm, but I don't find it repairing enough. Like this does not provide enough moisture to my skin somehow. Like even though it, it looks like a very like moisturizing cream, like okay here, so the texture, like it just doesn't do it, doesn't, it just, it's just not as good as I expected it to be like, it being so famous at all, I feel like it's not as moisturizing enough. Like it doesn't repair, like it doesn't, it's not as repairing and moisturizing enough for me. So I, I'll definitely not repurchase this. Another moisturizer that I finished is this uh, Midnight Blue Calming Cream from Claire's. Uh, I like this a lot, it's moisturizing. I don't know what other words to describe it besides it being moisturizing and it does help in calming my skin down and uh, your skin doesn't feel as red after, after using this so it's definitely something I repurchase and I even mentioned it in the previous over here and this video so yeah and then next are my sunscreens so I'll start off with this Vex Gardenia lightweight sunscreen lotion so this is really really lightweight uh, it's a chemical sunscreen so it feels really light on the skin um, the only thing bad about this is that it's difficult to get it in the states but otherwise this is something that I'll repurchase because it has a very nice like like herbal scent to it and I really enjoy using this and it does not have white cast and it's not oily it's like very lightweight and then next is this Anessa Essence UV sunscreen for sensitive skin so I, I actually like using this it's very lightweight it's like it's not as oily as I thought it would be it's still oilier than like than like regular sunscreen but this one felt felt really good on the skin <clears throat> the only thing that I don't like is that it's such a small bottle I finished it out like in two days <laughs> but this is a good sunscreen if you're looking for one and it's for sensitive skin so it doesn't sting to your eyes or whatever and um, it doesn't break me out as well and then up next is this from La Roche Posay this is the the anti uh tinted mineral sunscreen with SPF 50 uh, well, this I have very conflicted feelings about like tinted sunscreens because first off, they are tinted so like I'm a messy person if you, if you remember this. Okay, so I felt like I, I always managed to like stain, stain my stuff because of this and then my fingers, they are always stain after using it so that's the cons of it but otherwise uh, as a sunscreen it performs well like it glides on your skin very smoothly and it's not oily at all and up next is this clinic pep start so this is also like uh, a tinted sunscreen but like that's why i'm very conflicted in using them because one 
one good thing about them is that they even out my skin tone but but the other part of it is that it is just annoying to have the sunscreen tint around like besides on your face so yeah but this is uh, quite oily and I, I use it in the summer like a few weeks ago and I, I felt like I don't enjoy it as much as I did previously during winter so um, if you're looking for like a dewy like glowy sunscreen this is something that you might want to try because uh, it's priced reasonably as well but if you don't like the oiliness I, I wouldn't recommend this and then up next is the skin SkinCeuticals Physical Fusion UV Defense Sunscreen so this is like a mineral sunscreen uh, it has a tint as well so this this one I remember it being very watery so which is why I I don't mind using it but like it this has like a grayer tint than this one or this one yeah so this has like a very grayish tint which I don't enjoy I find it very weird on my skin tone but as a sunscreen it does well it's just the tint that's not my liking um, so I might not repurchase this but I don't know and then I finished up one so this is the skinny eye contour essence uh, I like this because there's like a you know a wand inside with like little cooling balls which when you glide under your eyes it's so comfortable but otherwise I don't think this essence does anything wonderful to my eyes because I don't have like fine lines and wrinkles yet touch wood because uh, so this is just something preventative that I use and I think you have to use like an eye cream after after this because this is lightweight or you have to use like a moisturizer or something occlusive to like cover it up so it doesn't make your under eyes even drier so I feel like it's an extra step that's not necessary the inky list caffeine eye serum I don't think this is useful I I don't particularly enjoy this either I think I I don't even I didn't even finish this because there's still like a lot of it like I don't know, it just doesn't feel right to, for me and like it's just not likeable for some reason So I finished up a lot of face masks and like sheet masks and stuff but this is um, like this is my preferred form of mask actually because um, because I found that it's not as wasteful as using like one one time off sheet mask so I actually stopped buying them but even though I still have a lot in stock which you can see later but like um, yeah so this one is the Mugwort mask from I'm From. I like this quite a bit. It's like it's soothing, it heals my skin, but I don't like like the veggies inside. <laughs> like it has a lot of like little you know, plants, leaves, stuff inside that I, I don't like washing it off. But otherwise, it, it comes down on my skin a lot and it reduces the redness really quickly. So I recommend getting this if you don't mind the stuff inside. Like let me show you. Like all this, not gunk, but like it's like the mark worth whatever inside. It's just like difficult to wash off. And then another wash off mask is this from Peter Thomas Roth. I got this because I remember Hiram recommending this. Uh, yeah, this is a good wash off mask. It's like it's refreshing, so your skin feels like much much refreshed afterwards. But I don't know because it's such it comes in such a small tub. Like I don't remember. Like I don't because I don't continuously use them for like a long time, so I wouldn't be able to see like the effect of it. But uh, I definitely don't mind using this. Another one that I have is the Kores Hydra Bio Probiotic Super Dose Face Mask. So um, I think this has more brightening than I expected it to be. I expected it to be moisturizing only, but I think it brightens up my skin quite well, uh, and it's also like not expensive, so you wouldn't feel bad like applying a whole lot on your face so uh, I, I did not repurchase this I might repurchase this but uh, it's definitely something fun to use let's talk about some not super skincare related stuff first before I go on to like all the one time used stuff right uh, so this is the Crab Tree and Evelyn Iris hand care collection ultra moisturizing hand therapy this is just a lotion, like a hand lotion that we use in the winter. Uh, I like that it's like moisturizing enough, like it softens your skin quite a bit. But then I don't think we can buy this scent anymore, I'm not too sure. But it comes in a nice bottle and like, yeah. Up next is this from Fresh, the grapefruit 
uh, face shower gel. Uh, I I wish it comes in a pump, but it doesn't. Uh, I'm not a fan of like, grapefruit. Grapefruit smells like a little bitter as compared to like citrus, other citruses. So I don't like it as much as I thought I would. But uh, I like the light she one a little bit more. But this is like a fun shower gel if you want to change things up. And next is this pharmacy hand wash. I bought it because I wanted to get free shipping. I remember. Uh, yeah, expensive hand wash. Nothing much. And then the Altinar Caviar Shampoo. Uh, I think using like high-end shampoos like this really does help with my hair. Like, it just gives like a lot of like moisture and like your hair feels shinier somehow. So uh, I actually repurchased like a bigger, bigger bottle of this. I like it. Ritual of Ivorella da 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 Balancing Morning Cream. This is in Indian Rose and Himalaya Himalaya Honey. Uh, this is a uh, very different texture than like any like body lotion that I've used. It's like it it it, it sort of evens itself out, and um, I I actually like using this quite a bit because I got it sale, so it felt like for for such a price that I bought. I think it's like ten dollars or whatever. It's so worth it, and I don't mind smoldering it all over my body. So um, I might repurchase this, but I'm not sure if they still sell this, but. Yeah, and it comes in such a huge tub, like, you, you wouldn't feel bad using this. And next is the So Janeiro Bom Dia Bright Cream. So this is like, um, <clears throat> another body cream that I got as a sample. Um, it says it's brightening, I don't, I don't know if it's really that brightening, but it, it, it does smell good. Like for me, I'm, I'm lotion, like, there's only two points which I judge them. First off is that they smell good, secondly is the texture is nice and it, it absorbs well. So this does both of those but it's not as moisturizing as I wanted it to be. So I might not repurchase this and uh, I think the scent is a little overpowering. Like I like lingering scents but not like overpowering scents like this. A lip balm from Pharmacy, Honey Butter Lip Balm. My lip balm collections video somewhere here or here. Okay, yeah, so this is like an okay lip balm, I guess. I wouldn't repurchase it, but I wouldn't mind using it as well. Another lip balm that I finished is this Reflon Kiss Exfoliating Lip Balm. So it has like sugar bits in the inside. It's supposed to like exfoliate your skin when you use it. Uh, I don't actually like this. Like, like, I don't mind using it because it's sweet and stuff, but for this price point, <coughs> if you're looking for like an exfoliating lip balm, I would say like try this, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Dry shampoo from Batiste. This has a very nice smell to it. This is the clean and light burst scent. Uh, I like it. It's useful when I'm lazy to wash my hair. So, oh, it's crazy, but these are all the sheet masks that I finished. Uh, the Bex Gardenia one, repairing mask. Uh, I, I like this, it's calming. And uh, it's quite moisturizing, so it doesn't dry that easily. And then, is this from Dr. Jack? Soothing Hydra Solution. Uh, yeah, this is the very famous uh, face mask, sheet mask that everyone talk about. Uh, I don't find it very super like, like hydrating, but it's hydrating enough. And uh, I actually don't mind using this. The one that's my favorite, this is the Olium Hyaluronic Dressing from Boga. Uh, this is like the China brand. So because this is marketed as like a post-surgery or like pairing uh, face mask. So I use it when my skin is breaking out a lot and I think it's very useful in repairing it and it, it felt super good on my skin. Hi, editing me here. I totally forgot to record the closing. So yeah, that's it for my empties. Thank you for watching. Bye. Oh.